Hi, I'm Chris Walters. I'm one of the <clears throat> interventional cardiologists with Duke Cardiology in Lumberton. And um, I'd like to tell you a great story about a young lady uh, who we have here today. Uh, her name is Tiara. And uh, Tiara was diagnosed with a condition after a recent successful pregnancy uh, called peripartum or postpartum cardiomyopathy which is basically a weakening of the heart muscle that is related to the pregnancy itself. Um, when we had the chance to evaluate her initially as an inpatient, when her condition was discovered, we decided that it would probably be best to prescribe a wearable cardiac defibrillator um, for the small chance that she could develop a life-threatening cardiac arrh uh, arrhythmia. Um, shortly after that, um, after she was treated medically, she did in fact develop some potentially life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias and was successfully treated with the wearable cardiac defibrillator. Um, since then, um, she has actually undergone uh, surgical implantation of a permanent implantable cardiac defibrillator and seems to be doing quite well with that. And at this point, we think her prognosis is quite good. After I had my baby, I was having breathing problems. And I went to the hospital, and they diagnosed me with pneumonia. And so while I was in there, I had an episode of blacking out. And they ran tests, and it saw problems with my heart that led to postpartum after the baby. And they preferred me to wear a life vest. And I wore the life vest after I got within the hospital and after I got to the hospital. Um, when I was home, probably like three weeks, you know, New Year's Day, I had an episode without the life vest. The day after New Year's, I had an episode at home as well with the life vest on. And the life vest had actually took place because I felt light. Well, first I felt lightheaded. And I warned my sister. All I know is I awoke to the end of the life vest saying treatment delivered. And I know my sister called the paramedics, they came there. I was admitted to the hospital the same day. The next day, January the 3rd, I had a life vest on while I was in the hospital as well, and it took place again, an episode. From there, they saw that I needed an implant, and since then, everything's been a success, but the most important thing is I was glad to be wearing the life vest when it, everything was taking place because I saw, they saw where I saw flatlined and I just feel like it was a success.